Om Mani Padmi Hum Sanskrit, Om Manipadmi Hum IPA, O Tilda Mipt, Mi is the six-syllabled Sanskrit mantra particularly associated with the four-armed Shadakshari form of Avalokiteshvara Tibetan, Chen Rezig Chinese, Guan Yin Guan Yin, Korean, Guan Yim Guan Yim, Japanese, Guan Yin Kanon Kanon or Kanzian, Mongolian, Megzid Zanraj Sig Migjid Janre Sig, the Bodhisattva of Compassion. The first word Om is a sacred syllable found in Indian religions. The word Mani means jewel or bead. Padmi is the lotus flower, the Buddhist sacred flower, and Hum represents the spirit of enlightenment. It is commonly carved onto rocks, known as Mani stones, or else it is written on paper which is inserted into prayer wheels. When an individual spins the wheel, it is said that the effect is the same as reciting the mantra as many times as it is duplicated within the wheel. Topic. Transliterations In English, the mantra is variously transliterated, depending on the schools of Buddhism as well as individual teachers. Most authorities consider Manipadmi to be one compound word rather than two simple words. Sanskrit writing does not have capital letters and this means that capitalization of transliterated mantras varies from all caps, to initial caps, to no caps. The all caps rendering is typical of older scholarly works and Tibetan sadhana texts. IAST Roman alphabet Om Mani Padmi Hum Tibetan Tibetan Pinyin Om Mani Bimi Hum EWTS Om Mani Pad plus ME Hu tilde M backquote smiley face Mongolian Classical Mongolian Om Mani Badme Kyung Kalka Om Mani Badme Hum Om Mani Badme Kum Buryat, Om Mani Badme Hum Om Mani Badme Kum Chinese, and Ma Ne Ba Mi Hong and Ma Ne Ba Mi Hong or in Ma Ne Ba Mi A Hong and Ma Ne Ba Mi A Hong or in Ma Ne Ba Mi Hong and Ma Ne Ba Mi Hong or in Mi Ni Bo Ne Ming Hong and Mi Ni Bo Ne Ming Sanskrit, Om Manipadme Hum Om Manipadme Hum Korean, Om Mani Banme Hum Om Mani Banme Hum or Om Mani Padiume Hum Om Mani Padiume Hum Japanese, Om Yu Mani Padom Fu Mu Omu Mani Padom Fumu or Om Yu Manipim Fumu Om Yu Mani Peme Fumu Bengali, Om Manipadmi Hum Om Manipod Hum Malayalam Om Mani Padmi Hum Burmese language, Om Mani Pa Mi Ho Nepali language Om Mani Padmi Hum Vietnamese, and Ma Ni Bat Mi Hong Thai Zomani Peeth Mi Hum Fags Pa, Om Ma Ni Pad Mi Hung Sinhalese Tagalog Filipino, Om Ma Ni Pad Mi Hum Telugu Om Ma Ni Pad Mi Hum Tangat, A M J A N J I P J A M J I J X O Old Uyghur, Um Ma Ni Bad Mi Zung Yurchin, A Ma Ni Ba Mi Shu Tamil Om Ma Ni Pad Mi Hum Topic Meaning Mantras may be interpreted by practitioners in many ways, or even as mere sequences of sound whose effects lie beyond strict meaning. The middle part of the mantra, Manipadmi, is often interpreted as jewel in the lotus, Sanskrit mani, jewel, gem, sintamani, and the locative of Padma, lotus. But according to Donald Lopez it is much more likely that Manipadmi is in fact a vocative, not a locative, addressing a bodhisattva called Manipadma, jewel lotus, an alternate epithet of the bodhisattva Avalokiteshvara. It is preceded by the om syllable and followed by the hum syllable, both interjections without linguistic meaning. Lopez also notes that the majority of Tibetan Buddhist texts have regarded the translation of the mantra as secondary, focusing instead on the correspondence of the six syllables of the mantra to various other groupings of six in the Buddhist tradition. For example, in the Chenrezig Sadhana, Sangsar Tulku Rinpoche expands upon the mantra's meaning, taking its six syllables to represent the purification of the six realms of existence. Topic: The Karandavyuha Sutra. The first known description of the mantra appears in the Karandavyuha Sutra Chinese, Fu Shuo Da Sheng Zhuang Yan Bao Wang Jing Taisho Tripitaka 1050, English, Buddha Speaks Mahayana Sublime Treasure King Sutra, which is part of certain Mahayana canons such as the Tibetan. 
In this sutra, Shakyamuni Buddha states, "...this is the most beneficial mantra. Even I made this aspiration to all the million Buddhas and subsequently received this teaching from Buddha Amitabha." The Karandavyuha Sutra was published in the 11th century, where it appears in the Chinese Buddhist canon. Some Buddhist scholars, however, argue that the mantra as practiced in Tibetan Buddhism was based on the Sadhanamala, a collection of sadhana published in the 12th century. The 14th Dalai Lama says It is very good to recite the mantra Om Mani Padmi Hum, but while you are doing it, you should be thinking on its meaning, for the meaning of the six syllables is great and vast. The first, Om, symbolizes the practitioner's impure body, speech, and mind, it also symbolizes the pure exalted body, speech, and mind of a Buddha. The path is indicated by the next four syllables. Mani, meaning jewel, symbolizes the factors of method, the altruistic intention to become enlightened, compassion, and love. The two syllables, padmi, meaning lotus, symbolize wisdom. Purity must be achieved by an indivisible unity of method and wisdom, symbolized by the final syllable hum, which indicates indivisibility. Thus the six syllables, Om Mani Padmi Hum, mean that in dependence on the practice of a path which is an indivisible union of method and wisdom, you can transform your impure body, speech, and mind into the pure exalted body, speech, and mind of a Buddha. <laughs> Dilgo Khyentse Rinpoche says The mantra Om Mani Padmi Hum is easy to say yet quite powerful, because it contains the essence of the entire teaching. When you say the first syllable Om it is blessed to help you achieve perfection in the practice of generosity, Ma helps perfect the practice of pure ethics, and Ni helps achieve perfection in the practice of tolerance and patience. Pa, the fourth syllable, helps to achieve perfection of perseverance, me helps achieve perfection in the practice of concentration, and the final sixth syllable hum helps achieve perfection in the practice of wisdom. So in this way recitation of the mantra helps achieve perfection in the six practices from generosity to wisdom. The path of these six perfections is the path walked by all the Buddhas of the three times. What could then be more meaningful than to say the mantra and accomplish the six perfections? Topic variation as Bucknell et al., 1986, p. 15, say, the complete Avalokiteshvara mantra includes a final re Sanskrit, re ipa, re h, which is iconographically depicted in the central space of the syllabic mandala as seen in the ceiling decoration of the Potala Palace. The full mantra in Tibetan is thus, the re is not always vocalized audibly and may be resonated internally or secretly through intentionality. Topic bibliography Teachings from the Mani Retreat, Chenrezig Institute, December 2000 2001, by Lama Zopa Rinpoche, ISBN 978-1-891868-10-8, Lama Yeshe Wisdom Archive Downloadable Bucknell, Roderick and Stuart Fox, Martin 1986. The Twilight Language, Explorations in Buddhist Meditation and Symbolism. Curzon Press, London. ISBN 0-312-82540-4 Lopez, Donald 1998. Prisoners of Shangri-La, Tibetan Buddhism and the West. University of Chicago Press, Chicago. ISBN 0-226-49311-3. Topic see also Yi Dharma Hichu Ashtamangala Great Compassion Mantra, Expanded Compassion of Om Mani Padma Hum Heart Sutra Samsara Samsara 2011 film Shurangama Mantra, Expanded Protective Power of Om Mani Padma Hum Desire Realm Topic Footnotes Topic Further reading Alexander Studholm, The Origins of Om Manipadmi Hum. Albany, New York, State University of New York Press, 2002 ISBN 0-7914-5389-8 INCL. Table of Contents Mark Unno, Shingen Refractions, Mayo and the Mantra of Light. Somerville MA, USA, Wisdom Publications, 2004 ISBN 0-86171-390-7 Bucknell, Roderick and Stuart Fox, Martin 1986. The Twilight Language, Explorations in Buddhist Meditation and Symbolism. 
Curzon Press, London. ISBN 0-312-82540-4 Buswell, Robert E. Jr. and Lopez, Donald S. Jr. The Princeton Dictionary of Buddhism. Princeton University Press, Princeton, N.J., 2014 p. 603. A. H. Frank, The Meaning of Om Mani Padmi Hum, Journal of the Royal Asiatic Society, 1915 Lama Anagarika Govinda, Foundations of Tibetan Mysticism, 1969. Samuel Weiser, Inc., NYC, NY. ISBN 0-87728-064-9. Lopez, D.S. Prisoners of Shangri-La, Tibetan Buddhism and the West. Chicago University Press, 1988. P. 114 ff. Roger Kamenetz, The Jew in the Lotus Plus with an afterword by the author, Harperone, 2007 Nonfiction. Table of Contents Sogyal Rinpoche, The Tibetan Book of Living and Dying, Appendix 4 pg. 396-398, Ryder, 10th Anniversary Edition, 2002 ISBN 0-7126-1569-5 External links Dharma Haven, Om Mani Padmi Hum Khandro. Net, Mantra Om Mani Padmi Hum, a Sufi interpretation Andrew West, an article on Om Mani Padmi Hum in different scripts Buddha Speaks Mahayana Sublime Treasure King Sutra English translation of Karandavuha Sutra